Yo, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna be hydro dipping a pair of shoes. You already know what time it is. It's time to sit back, relax, and eat snacks. Let's go. So today we're gonna be working on the white pair of Yin and Yang Air Jordan 1s. Huge shout out to Ivan the Creature for purchasing these for me. He got these for me last year, I believe, for my birthday. I just thought it would be a great base since the shoe is primarily white, so it's perfect for customs. In order to prepare our shoes, we're going to be using Angelus Leather Preparer and the Glazer. The link will be down below in the description. This preps all of your leather to make sure whatever you put on top of it sticks. We're turning on the airbrush for this one. I wanted to make sure that the swooshes were nice and white, so we're using a mixture of too thin and flat white in order to get that swoosh white again. I haven't used an airbrush in a while, so I went ahead and, you know, practiced it a little bit. But I wanted to get used to using this, man, because it's been sitting for a while, so I was like, okay, let's crank this airbrush out and see what we got. And by the way, in this video, take everything I say very lightly because it is one of my biggest fails I have ever accomplished. If you guys want to see how it turns out, make sure you stick until the end. All right guys, we just finished up the swooshes. So we don't have to make it super, super white, but as long as it has a white base coat so that film can show on top of it, it's gonna be perfect. These have been drying for about an hour. I'm pretty confident that they're completely dry. Now we're gonna mask all the parts that we don't want the hydro dip film to get onto. This one's gonna be a long one because there's a lot of panels that we gotta block off. So prep is key with this one. Let's get it and let's go. All right y'all, no BS. This probably took me about 45 minutes to prep only to show the toe box, the swoosh, where the wings logo is, the back of the heel. Now I'm copying basically the red royal shadow colorways. I went ahead and prepped this one really, really nice. Like I said, prep is everything when you're doing some hydro dip. So we got one shoe done. I'm not gonna show you guys the uh, full process just cause I know it's a long process and it could get a little bit boring. So I got this shoe to do. We're using some scotch tape right here. I'll try to link this one down below. Let me wrap this up and then we'll get to the dipping process. Shoes are all done up now. Nice and prepared. We got a water bucket over here. This is where we're gonna fill it with water. This is where the hydro dipping process is going to take place. So first things first, let's fill this with water. Shout out to all the hoes out there. That was dumb. While that is filling up, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be using today. So we're using Hydro Graphics Activator. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys would like to purchase this. This basically is a spray that we're going to spray on top of the hydrographic film that we have. And that will enable it to stick to the surface that we're going to be putting into the water. So this is the print that we're working with today. It is a floral kind of tropical vibe print. Now, I've seen a lot of people put like tape on the border of their prints. So I did the same exact thing. I have a link down below in the description if you guys want to go ahead and search up different prints. There's this website that has it. They have a bunch of different ones. Just trying to get it everywhere so it sticks properly. And really guys, here goes nothing. I hope this goes well. Alright, let's see. This is the game plan. We're going to dunk it in and we gotta shake it out all right all right here we go oh snap oh snap oh snap i don't think i did that right Bruh. about to redeem ourselves What the fudge? Alright, we might have to try this a couple more times because 
this ain't what we really going for you know what I'm saying like this looks it, it didn't cover everything so and that's like a ton of stretch right there oh man this side actually laid out pretty nice right here whatever the hell I was doing right there looks real good we're gonna have to cover this shit up with a lot more layers trial number two no tape on this one smaller piece Laying it down on the good side. I'm gonna dip it in from the rear this time since we're missing a piece on the rear. Let's go. Oh shit. Yo, it's getting everywhere. Oh. All right, it's a little chunky in some areas. Um. This side came out nice. I think I'm gonna stick with that technique. I'm gonna go ahead and see how much stuff I have left. I'm gonna try it on a new pair. The side that we have not touched yet. Oh, she is. I think that's good. Look at that. All right, let's try this. Some parts came out hella clean, like this part right here, this toe box area came out kind of clean. It just didn't cover the whole thing. What came out really clean though is this side piece. Oh my God, look at that. I just need to like kind of push this out a bit or something. Man, this came out really, really clean. And then some pieces overlap, so I'm gonna try to remove the excess while I can right now because it's, it's still wet, but damn. If that stuff wasn't on the top of it, it would look really, really clean. We're gonna go ahead and try dipping this again. See how it comes out. All right. Since that one came out hella clean, I think I might have added a little bit too much spray at the beginning of the other one for the first shoe. So, I'll do a small amount of spray again. I'm gonna do the first shoe, because the first shoe doesn't look that great. I mean, look at that. Just, you can't even tell what's really on here. It doesn't look great at all. So we're gonna go ahead, dip this one back, see if we could resurrect this. Oh, that was a fail. That was a definite fail. Oh man. I was really, really excited for this custom. Oh, look at this. This is such a fail slippers from sandal boys right here could use a clean but we're just gonna see what happens when i dip this whole thing in watch this come out hella clean bruh bruh didn't come out that bad all right you know what in conclusion I'm gonna leave it to the professionals. Hess kicks, you win. All right, everybody, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As you guys can see, this was a complete fail, or at least I thought it was a complete fail. I'm not happy with the results whatsoever. This shoe right here came out probably the best out of the two, but I feel like I still have a very long way to go with learning how to hydro dip. Since it was my first time using actual hydro dip film, I mean, everything is just brand new to me. I was trying new things out. I could not get it down. I mean, look at this right here. This just looks like a jumbled mess. Definitely one of my uh, more embarrassing fails on this channel, but sometimes you just gotta fail to succeed later. So let me know what you guys think. Should I hydro dip these again? Maybe try removing all of this. I'm pretty sure all of it will come off of the tape and then this will just come off with some acetone. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys like this channel and want to support, check out the website because I got custom goods available. Shopsotopia.com, all handmade by yours truly. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. I said I'm driving Mercedes. My windows not tinted, they look at me crazy. I ride through my city. I talk to that bitch like, look what you made me. We came from the basement. Now look at our statements. She calling me baby, calling me 
lately All that shit changed when I got the Sadies 